Getting rid of a color cast on an image is another common problem, and Camera Raw makes that easy as well. You can see this image here has kind of an orange or yellow cast. You might have a blue cast or a red cast or a green cast, depending on the lighting conditions and whether or not you were paying attention to the white balance setting on your camera. Let's go ahead and fix this problem. It's very easy to do inside Camera Raw. Let's click the Open Camera Raw button, and this opens up the Camera Raw Editor. And there's a couple different ways to go about this. Typically, lean towards one way, but in the interest of teaching you the complete picture here, so to speak, let me show you all three of them. So if I look over in the Basic tab, you can see that the very first thing that you should do, other than doing a crop, is setting the white balance. And you can see it came in as shot. Now I can choose Auto, and Camera Raw will do its best to actually correct that color cast for me. And you can see it actually does a fantastic job here. So oftentimes that's all you have to do and you're done. Now all it's really doing is looking at the file and figuring out what the temperature and tint slider should be. Now I could go ahead and manually adjust these. So if I'm not quite happy with the auto adjustment and I want to make it a little bit cooler or warmer, you know, I can just go ahead and click on the temperature slider and drag it left or right to, you know, customize this white balance setting. It's up to you. Now the other method, the one I use even more than auto sometimes, is using the white balance tool and clicking on something in the image that I know I want to be neutral gray or not have a color cast on it. So to get back to where I was, I'm going to go back to white balance and choose as shot to get us back to where we were when we first opened up this image. I'm going to press the I key for the eyedropper. It's also officially called the white balance tool, but since it has an eyedropper icon, the shortcut there is the letter I. Now I can use the eyedropper and click where I want to in the image to set the white balance. So let's say that she's got this gray shirt. I can click on the gray in her shirt to set the white balance there, or maybe the gray of the sidewalk to neutralize that, or anything else in the image that I want to be neutral. So you've got a lot of flexibility here either way. Try auto. If you've got the result you like, you're done. If you want to control it a little bit more, kind of put it into manual stick shift mode, if you will. Use the white balance tool itself by pressing the letter I and clicking specifically where you want to set the white balance in the image itself.